From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories heading into the weekend with warnings about the health care system and the handling of the coronavirus situation in general. Infectious Disease Director Dr. Nakia Forbes is worried about a growing shortage of nurses in the health care system and what impact that will have as the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations continue to go up. Nurses Union President Amantia Williams confirming that more than a dozen nurses have left recently, some of them opting to go overseas. According to the latest numbers, 58 persons are now in hospital being treated for the virus, 26 at the Princess Margaret, 17 at doctors, 8 at the South Beach facility, and 7 in Grand Bahama. Dr. Forbes says we are not at capacity, but we need nurses and doctors to take care of those patients. And there's a warning from the doctors' union about what could happen down the road with COVID-19. I think our health team and our government in general really needs to take a look at what is happening in country and stop playing a blind eye that it has disappeared. It has not disappeared. And if we don't fix it soon, all of us are going to be in a very, very serious, serious serious situation. Doctors Union President Dr. Sabrique Pinder Butler telling the media they're disappointed that they have not been consulted more by the Ministry of Health and the government on the way forward. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The Wednesday numbers for Corona are in and they remain high in the capital. Another 56 cases here. There was another death reported also. An 88-year-old New Providence man is the latest victim of the virus. The death toll is now at 216. We could soon have access to more vaccine. The Chinese embassy has confirmed that talks are taking place with Ministry of Health officials that could lead to a supply of the recently approved Chinese vaccine. No word yet on how this could affect us, but the U.S. Centers for Disease Control has now said that fully vaccinated persons in the U.S., no longer need to wear a mask outdoors or indoors. Health officials advising against eating raw conch right now. You could end up sick, and vendors are being trained on how to prevent contamination. A man who tried to use a fake corona test result to travel fined $5,000. Six months in prison if he fails to pay. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242. Dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management of frontal system over Florida, related weather in time. Clouds and sun today, showers possible, highs in the low to mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. The next tide is a high around 11 this morning, next low about 6 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight, chance of showers, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, no end in sight to the ongoing violence in the Middle East. The standoff continues between Israel and Palestine. More than 100 persons, including children, have already died in the violence. Israel's Arab neighbors are now condemning the level of force Israel is using against the Palestinians. Some countries in the region are trying to broker a peace agreement. Major concerns remain about the coronavirus situation in India. The cases and deaths remain high and vaccine supplies remain low. Still around 400,000 cases and 4,000 deaths per day in India. The Tribune's gas track of prices heading into the weekend, Shell 486, SO 494, Rubus $4.89 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The WNBA gets going this weekend. John Quo Jones is ready after spending a year in Europe. The Tribune Sports has the latest on her. Disappointment for Buddy Heel and the Kings in the NBA after a loss in Memphis last night. The Kings officially out of the playoffs for a record-tying 15th straight season. DeAndre Ayton didn't play for the Suns last night. They beat Portland, and they're firmly locked in the playoffs. Get the latest on the Olympic Games and the most recent push to have it canceled, and your Major League Baseball update is in the Tribune Sports Friday also. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.